Hello, you lovely lot. So I am back today with the second segment to my jewelry collection. I've seen your comments, I've seen your messages, and I know that you guys have been waiting for this for such a long time, so thank you for holding out, but here it is. Today's video will be about my necklace collection. So I've gone through my main go-tos, the ones that you guys ask for the most information on when it comes to you seeing them in my videos and on my Instagram. So let's just dive straight in. So as you can see, I'm still wearing these three babies at the minute. These are the ones that I'm wearing 24 seven. They don't come off unless I'm putting some different ones on that I sort of keep on rotation. So I'll leave these ones to last just because I'll be zooming you in. We'll be getting nice and personal. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, so let's start with this one. So this came from Topshop. You've got four different chains in different lengths that make the overall necklace and then a faux onyx pendant. So this I bought off ASOS out of the Topshop collection. I just love the detailing of it. I thought it was a really nice, stunning necklace. It's not real silver, it is costume jewelry, but it's just a really nice statement piece. It's just such a versatile piece. You can dress it up and you can dress it down. Okay, so moving on. This one I think is definitely my most favorite pendant and chain combination that's in my collection. So this, came from Gypsy Silver. So she makes all of her pieces herself and uses reclaimed and antique jewelry. So the chain is made of various different pieces of chain. And I just, I just love that. I like that it's unique. And that's another thing I love about her jewelry is there is no, there's not really any pieces that are the same, they're all one of a kind just because she makes them all by hand. So they're always gonna be a little different. So you've got a beautiful fossilized tooth, the amazing skull, and then this incredible engraving that's in the silver detailing. I also love the fact that I can change and take the pendant off. So you've got an antique silver clasp. It's just a beautiful piece. I love the, the length of the chain works with how big the pendant is. I did try a normal chain, so sort of like these, and it just didn't look right, just because it's just such a chunky bad boy. But this is one of my most favorite and I guess prized pieces that's in my collection. Right, so moving on, this next piece was very kindly gifted to me by Carter Gore. So this is my skull headdress. Just how stunning is this? If you guys have been around here for a while, you would have seen the video I dedicated to Cartagor when they gifted me a selection of necklaces. The chain is also by Cartagor. It's so fine, it's really dainty, and it's just so complimentary to the pendant. On the back, you've then got the Cartagor stamp along with the 95 silver mark. It really is such a stunning piece. I mean, the jewelry that they do and the effort and time that goes into each piece really is phenomenal. They're just so beautiful and I couldn't believe it when they said they were gonna gift me this piece because I'd had my eye on it for so long and I really am just so grateful to now have it in my collection because it's it's honestly just, just so stunning. Okay, so number four is then a bit of a mixture. So the pendant is by Gypsy Silver. So you've got the beautiful carved skull and then the antique tassel drop. It's such a beautiful, beautiful piece. It really is. And this was, I think, the first Gypsy Silver piece I bought. It's honestly just so, so gorgeous. The chain is then from Volstead, which was gifted to me along with a pendant, which I will show you guys a little later on. But it's a beautiful, beautiful chain. It really is. I love that you've got so many links and it almost looks a bit like a snake in my eyes, but it really is just so gorgeous. And then you've got the Volstead tag by the clasp. Next up, we then have this pretty bad boy from Regal Rose. So my best friend bought me this for Christmas last year. I love it, it's simple, it's chunky, it's gorgeous. And I love have being able to mix this up with loads of other chains. 
and make a really lovely look. I always keep it on the closest clasp just because I like it to be like a choker but you do have the ability to make it longer should you wish to. The next piece was very kindly gifted to me by Regal Rose and this is my chunky interchangeable necklace. So with this, you've got the clasp here, which means you can change all of the different layers and make it how you wish. So when it arrived, it was on the longest chain, which meant it sort of hung about here on my neckline. So I swapped them around a bit and I've now got it on this one, which means it sits just, I think it lays on my collarbones, which is exactly where I want it. This one has been a, a proper favorite in my collection, especially since I've got it. I think I've worn it nearly every single day, taken it to nearly every single event. It has been a, a much loved piece in, my, uh, in the necklace department. <laughs> I love the bolts. The chain work in itself is really, really beautiful. It's just such a stunning necklace. You've then got the Regal Rose tag there. Honestly, I think it's just a really nice piece. It's another one that you can dress up or dress down. You can obviously take the chains out. So if you want it to be sort of just one long chain, you can. I have dabbled in just adding pendants to it. So it's sort of that way round with one of the one of the chains taken out, just so you can make it into an actual pendant necklace. Um, but there's so many things you can do with it. It's just so versatile. It really is such a lovely piece and I was very lucky to be gifted it. So thank you again, Regal Rose. <laughs> just quickly before you guys, uh, I get, guess get distracted by all my other necklaces. This was the pendant that came with the Volstead chain. So it's an anchor. Can we just appreciate all of the detail? So the base of the anchor are fish. Don't know if you can see their little faces it goes into their tail just how stunning just beautiful okay and then moving on we then go back to gypsy silver because i have i think this is the last piece from gypsy silver that's in my collection so we have an antique chain and then the pendant i am using on it is this tooth with the silver detailing that makes it into sort of like a long horn. I love the jagged edges. I think it's beautiful. I love the holes. I love the detailing. It really is so, so beautiful. And Gypsy Silver's stamp is also just gorgeous. I don't know if you can see there's a bull skull and it almost looks like a little sun behind it. And then you've got the silver hallmark. And then we have a piece by Tiger and Luck. This again was a piece that was kindly gifted to me. We've got a bubble effect chain and then a silver tooth pendant. Really is so dainty, so pretty. I know I've probably been saying this about all of them, but I wouldn't have them if I didn't think of that. <laughs> Next piece is another and last one from Carter Gore. So this is my very beautifully detailed bull skull. This again was in the Carter Gore dedicated video. It's so pretty. I really do love all the detail that goes into their pieces. It's on a lovely, fine and short chain and you do have the option to make it even shorter should you wish to. I think the smaller the pendant, the higher up on my neckline I like it, just because then I like to have my chunky pieces sort of going down, if that makes any sense. <laughs> and then this, I can only really tell you where the chain is from. So this came, the chain is from Thomas Sabo, which I have a, a mass collection from. I love their chains, I think they're really pretty and you get loads of links in them so you can change the length of the chain should you wish to. The pendant I have on this is my Viking Axe. I love this, this came from my mum so I can't tell you where it came from. This is a pendant that I will never get rid of. It came from my mum, uh, I have a huge, a huge thing with Vikings and the history behind it and I just love, I love having my double-edged axe. The next bits I'm going to go through are my chokers, so I have them all here in my bag. Right, I'm just going to do a lucky dip. Okay, so this one, so this is my leather snake concho tassel choker. How fucking 
beautiful. You then have the ties at the back. Again, you've got loads of room to make it as short, as tight as you want it. So these are made by the Leather Tuscadero, which is a brand by one of the girls on Instagram called Amy. I will link everyone down below, but I'm gonna make sure that I link her Instagram page and her business page in the description box just so you can go and see how cool she is and how badass her work is. This one was kindly gifted to me by Amy. And then we have this one, which is the all black version. How stunning yet again. And this one has the little stud detailing between the conchos. Same deal, so again, it's one that you tie, but how beautiful, just just so stunning. Her work really is amazing. And then the last concho choker I have is this one right here. So this came from the Desert Dweller Jewelry. I found her on Instagram. She's in the States, but so, so worth the money and getting it to the UK. It's so, it's really comfy to wear. It probably doesn't look it because obviously it's a lot of metal, but honestly, I think because it's got the chains, it just moves with your neck. So you're never being jabbed. It's just really, really soft on the skin. It's a little cold in the morning if you're putting it on first thing, but it does warm up really quickly. And again, it's just such a stunning piece to have in my collection. We're now down to the final four. I'm gonna go and get the fourth one because she constantly lives on my bustier right there. So let me just go and get it. So this one also came from the Desert Dweller Jewelry and this is my Longhorn necklace. So you've got loads, loads and loads of Longhorns, loads of chains. You've got an interchangeable length for the necklace as well, but I, again, I treat this as a choker. But just how beautiful is this? It's so beautiful. You can hear like yourself coming a mile off. <laughs> but it's really pretty. I, I treated myself to this as a birthday present and so worth the money, so worth the wait. Everything is made, is handmade by her as well. And it's all sort of made to order. So really grateful, really lucky, so, so beautiful. Okay, and lastly, I'm now gonna zoom you in so you can see the amazing pieces that I'm currently wearing. And then that's, that's gonna be all for today's video. We are getting all kinds of personal right now. Okay, so this one right here says Tinker in old English font. This came from Etsy. I can't remember the name of the shop, so I will link that down below if I can find it again. If I can't, then I will just find you an alternative seller on Etsy. The chain is attached. I accidentally ordered the wrong length of chain i went for a little longer than i anticipated i just don't know how to measure shit apparently <laughs> so i've sort of twisted all the chain behind it and then clasped it together to shorten it the next one is then my the great frog p made to look like it's made out of tiny little bones it's so dainty and pretty i bought it the last time i went into the great frog when i went up to london for my girls weekend and oh, I was so lucky to be able to walk away with it there and then. And it's then on a Thomas Sabo interchangeable chain. And then finally is then this beautiful pendant and chain. So this came from Tiffany's. So it's got the lightning bolt and the Tiffany's detailing all around it. And then the Tiffany's hallmark on the back. I got this from my mum for Christmas um, when we went to Vegas and I found it in the Tiffany's shop and this was my Christmas present. And it's been a necklace that I've barely taken off because I now just feel naked if I'm not wearing it. It's just so pretty and I really relate to it. I love the fact it had a, a detailed lightning bolt on it. I'd never seen one like it before and I knew, I knew it was me. <laughs> it was me embodied in a pendant. So that is my necklace collection. Those are the pieces that are worth sharing. I do have quite a few other pieces, but they're old, they're sentimental, they're pieces I don't really get out and wear a huge amount. As and when I add more beautiful necklaces to my collection, I will be sure to update you guys. But everyone that I've mentioned where these pieces have come from will be in the description box down below for you. So I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you here again next week.